and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here as always. So today we are going to be doing a super easy tutorial. This is a good one for beginners. Um, you can actually use any scraps you have at home. You're going to need a stretch fabric um, because it's going to be stretching over your chest. And yeah, this is a super easy one. It only needs like two pieces. So if you're a beginner, then this is definitely the tutorial for you. So for this tutorial, I definitely recommend just cutting up an old t-shirt because any of you like stretchy t-shirts, they will work for this and it's such a good way to practice. Before we get into making our little bando or boob tube, whatever you want to call it, um, if you do want to see more videos like this one with some super easy sewing tutorials, then be sure to subscribe down below and let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so you're just going to need your fabric. I've chosen this really cute little floral one. And then you're just going to need some scissors or a rotary cutter, some clips or sewing pins, a tape measure and a ruler, and then a fabric marker or some chalk. And then I'm going to use some elastic just to make it tight up the top. And then this is my pattern piece. So I just measured 12 inches across the bottom and then it's 10 inches tall. This will just depend on your bust size. And then I'm going to draw two of those and then we're going to cut out two squares. And then I'm just going to place those right sides together. Make sure your pattern is facing the right way on both of them. And then I'm going to pin up the short sides of the pieces. And then we're going to take that over to the sewing machine and use a thread that matches your project. And then I'm just doing a zigzag stitch all the way down the sides. And then we're going to take the elastic and we're going to measure out exactly the same distance across the top. So I'm just measuring as you can see here, one half, and then I just fold it over so I know it's exactly the same length as the top. So then, yeah, just measure across the top and you should have a loop that's the same size as the top of your bandeau. And then we're going to just sew across the elastic to attach it together so that we have a nice big loop of elastic. And then what I'm gonna do is match up my side seam and then we're gonna pin the elastic all the way around the top just so it's a bit easier to sew. And then we're going to sew right on that top edge of the elastic and attach it to the top. So I'm just doing a zigzag stitch all the way around. This is super easy. You don't need to stretch the elastic because it's exactly the same size as your top. So just go all the way around with a nice zigzag stitch. So you should have something that looks like this. And then we're going to flip it right side out and then you're just going to fold that top bit under. So I've folded that really nicely and then we're just going to do a top stitch all the way around just so that your elastic doesn't flip up. So I'm going to use my double needle but you can absolutely just use a zigzag stitch to just basically hold your elastic down and top stitch that fabric to the elastic so you don't have the elastic flipping up. And this is what the final product looks like. So this is what it looks like if you don't hem the bottom of it at all. Um, I made a little matching skirt, but here I've actually added a lettuce hem. I have a full tutorial on this, like I said, so if you want to add a little lettuce hem to your top, you can, but you can totally just leave it with no hem at all. So that is how our little bandeau top turned out. Like I said, it's totally up to you whether you want to hem the bottom of it or not. Um, usually if it's just for me, I won't hem it because stretch fabrics don't actually fray, so it's not required for you to hem it. But there are so many fun ways that, that you can hem the bottom. Like I said, adding a little lettuce hem is super fun. Um, I do have a full tutorial on how I do my lettuce hem and the settings you'll need for your machine. So if you want to watch that one, I will link it up here and in the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial and had fun sewing a little bandeau top with me and if you did don't forget to leave a thumbs up because it really supports me and my channel and of course like I said if you want to see more videos like this you can go ahead and subscribe I've been doing some really fun videos on my TikTok and my Instagram so if you want to see those I will leave them linked down below and that's it from me today guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye <laughs>